Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the video. It's your boy Josh here today. So first of all, give us a thumbs up on the video, okay? So what we're gonna be talking about, someone just posted uh, inside the Facebook group, so um, we're gonna be talking about uh, what you need to bring to your event, okay? So Dominique Mason, shout out to you for posting. Uh, first of all, for you're posting your experience about what happened so others can learn, and then also uh, making a post so that others can see the post and let, you know learn from that. So um, and not hiding like, hey, you you messed up. You know, you said on here like, exam I, I didn't think I would need an extension cord, but now that I have my booth, I definitely need one. Okay, and that's that's the premise of this video. What do you need for your photo booth business when you're going out to events? We're gonna break it down. Christian's here. Hey guys, Christian here. We're gonna make sure that you're very prepared for your photo booth events. Make sure that your photo booth business is rocking. How many events you did in the last month? In the last month, I did nine events, eight events. Eight events, yeah. and, and how much? I made, I made a little bit over 3,800 bucks. 3,800 bucks, yeah. guys. All right, so we're in the business. We can sell you photo booths. <clears throat> we're gonna help you. We're doing this day in, day out. All right, give us a, give us a subscribe and a thumbs up. And then uh, comment below, let us know where you're watching from so we know uh, where to ship more boots to, okay? All right, so what do you do when you, when you go into your events? So I got a checklist. What, uh, why don't you give the checklist to them? You wanna do it right now? I'll do it right now, you have to do it right now. Right? Yeah. The checklist, like number one, bring your tape, all right? You, I don't know, you, I don't know why, you, for whatever reason, uh, you might need a tape, but it's always important for you to carry a tape. All right. Number two, don't for, don't forget your extension cord. All right. Wrap it around your waist. Wrap it around your neck. I don't care. Anywhere. Make sure you don't forget your extension cord. You don't know how far the outlet it is. You don't know where they're gonna put you. Um, but always bring your extension cord. Number three, always bring paper. But make sure you bring your ribbon as well. Every time you bring paper, you think ribbon. Every time you think ribbon, you bring your paper. Always bring extra paper, you never know. You never know what you might get yourself into. You need your photo booth business to be rocking, all right? Number four, if you're hungry and they don't feed you, make sure you bring your snacks. I just ate mine because I was a little hungry, but uh, like you, you, know, you bring your Doritos, Cheetos, water, Sprite, whatever it is, I don't care. Just make sure that you're well, you know, well, well fed before, just in case they don't feed you. So you have, uh, how do you have your checklist? Uh, so I have it down on my phone. How, how many items on there? What is your phone? No, your right checklist? here. You read it off. Yeah. It's more than three things, right? No, I have well, everything's in my booth, so. The story keeps changing every time. That, that's what he thinks, you know? But, Let's see if he has it in his phone. So you can have it in your phone. Innocent prints it out. He has a checklist. Yeah, Innocent does very good work. Do you actually use it? No, I don't really. All right. I know. Don't, don't, get, don't get too cocky. No, your memory will fail you 100%. All right. I that. agree with that. Always, always, one last thing. I actually don't have it on my phone. I thought I did. You see, guys, don't do that. This is a learning, so you know that your photo booth business needs to be rocking, all right? It needs to be on point. Right, here's, what I, here's what I would do. Um, there's an app called um, Microsoft To Do, okay? It's, a, it's like a blue check mark, and you can uh, basically create a list on there, and then you can check it off every time. Like, let's say if you go into a gig, you can check it off. Uh, all the items that, that you like loaded up so that you don't forget. Uh, and then the next time you go, like the, the list can replenish every week or every day. It can be a repeating list. And you can also share the list with others, okay? So once again, the app is called Microsoft To Do. Uh, make sure to download it. Apps make your life better. If you have the mindset that technology, I repel, someone said I repel technology. <laughs> You're gonna lose, okay? You gonna play a winning game or you play a losing game you get to choose what you want to do, all right? This device right here can run your whole business, but if you don't have your list and you're not updated and it's not on the cloud, you will fail, okay? Your memory is gonna fail you, so don't depend on your memory. You will forget, all right? Naturally, as humans, we forget. 
people say it all the time, right? Like, oh, I've slept since yesterday or stuff like that. So download the app. Once again, Microsoft To Do. Just go on the App Store, download it. You can make it, share it, uh, check it off, and have different checklists, right? So have a checklist for going to the event. You should have a checklist like uh, whenever you're cleaning up and prepping your photo booth. Um, and then what else? Basically have, um, so your event checklist should be more for your booth stuff. And then you should have basically like, uh, what, what should I call it? This one would be more like to make sure that the contract is signed, to make sure that the payment is taken care of, to make sure that the layout is approved, to make sure that the loading dock information is there. So you gotta be really thorough with this, okay? If you're just doing stuff willy-nilly, you're gonna lose, all right? You're gonna lose to people that have their stuff together, that's charging more money, that's giving a better quality product, okay? The biggest failures I've seen people like, oh, I'll remember it, or they don't have systems and processes. When, you, when you're a business owner and you don't have systems and processes, Christian used to use Excel spreadsheets, right? Yeah, it was terrible. Excel spreadsheets to run a business. That's 100% failure rate right there. When you have softwares like HoneyBook, we have a HoneyBook uh, software to run your photo booth business below. You can click on the link and get a discount on there. We have a special discount for all PBI customers. Actually, anybody who's subscribed to the channel, you can, you can get access to that. Make sure to also check uh, the bench accounting. That's Watch good. You. What's good about it? It's one thing, number one, it keeps all your accounting stuff in order. What's accounting? Uh, anything, you, where your expenses go, what's coming in, what's going out. I mean, and everything and anything. I'm talking about, like, I just got off the phone with them about a week ago. I got that finally set up. Shout out. So tell us life before you got it set up. Oh, uh, I didn't even know where my, I was getting paid five, six, seven thousand dollars $7,000, and I had no idea where the money was going. Yeah. Like, like was I spending out? Was I spending on food? Was I spending on here? Or on, you know, whatever reason. And finally, when I got my uh, bench set up account, they, they told me where all my money was going to. And I was spending a lot of money on food, guys. And I have, I didn't even realize. So it doesn't matter if you're making $10,000, but if you don't know where your money's going to, and you don't know how to make sure, you can't base your stuff on bank account. Because that's, I mean, based on bank account, that, that doesn't see if you're making a you know, profit or loss. So having that bench account really helped me to understand, okay, I need to cut down on this. I need to do this. I need to change this. Uh, so that I can really have a profitable photo booth business. All right, guys, so once again, we covered a lot of stuff here in this video. Go back and watch it again and take notes, okay? Don't forget your paper, your ribbon. The ink and paper come together, all right? We have it for sale, 250 for a box. The extension cord, get it at Walmart, Home Depot. Snacks. And then snacks. Food, drink. And most importantly, don't forget your photo booth. I don't think right. anybody's forgetting that. I forgot it before. Yeah? No, never, but don't. you might be the first one, okay? So I'm telling you, do not forget your photo booth for a photo booth business. You need your photo booth. So number one, extension cord. Number two, paper, ink, they go hand in hand. Snacks, in case you're hungry, like me, I love to eat. Your photo booth. You said you have it in your contract to eat. Oh yeah, after more than three hours, I actually put in there in my contract that food must be provided for um, my employees or the attendees, why? Because uh, think about it, you go in there, hours are set up, hour to tear down, and three hours, that's five hours. So most of the times, that's what they, they're okay with that uh, because you know they, they have extra food anyways and they're super sweet. Um, so I, I, but I put it in the contract, more than three hours, food must be provided. My, man, many people might judge me, might well, say whatever, but if they don't feed them for whatever reason, I'll make sure I take care of my attendants. Um, but anyways, I'm telling you, have this stuff ready on hand, have an emergency kit. This should be in your emergency kit. Always carry extra. Yeah, you can get the tubs from Walmart or Home Depot is what we use, the plastic tubs. They're a couple of dollars. And you can have all your stuff inside the tubs. Uh, we used to keep like the props and the rest of the stuff that, that we do yeah. inside the tub. So we have the photo booth, the tub, the table, and then like whether we do doing a backdrop or not, uh, like that. So. It's all about checklist, guys, so you can be successful at your event. And uh, let us know what you think in the comments below. Comment the four things that you need. All right? Make sure to have, and the tape, okay? The, oh, yeah. tape, is, the tape is important because 
um, people will trip over the wires, okay? People are drunk, they're gonna trip over the wires and you need to tape it down and tape it down neatly, okay? But make sure first that the video is okay with it, all right? Some people don't like that. Yeah, make so sure. how are they gonna do that? If they get to the venue, there's five parties going on at the same time, who do we ask? You would ask the event, either the event coordinator, make sure that she it's okay for you to be able to tape uh, to the floor. Uh, most so times they're okay with no. that. Well, then you're gonna have to figure out a way to make sure that it's out the way. What? The okay. extinction cord, you know? How many times have they said no? Uh, to me, they haven't told me no one, not many times, but uh, there's always that one case, so that's why you always have to have your tape. But why do you ask them? Just because I want to respect the venue. Yeah, I asked, hey, is it okay if I take, if I have What if we can't find them? What if it takes you 12? 12 no, I don't tape it down. You don't tape it no, down? No, I, I want to respect the venue. So you respect the venue and then run a risk of someone getting injured at the border booth? Usually when I, the way I set up, it's not in the way. But it could be. But it's not. All right, guys. Photo Booth Wars coming soon. Yeah. We're looking for people to, if you're in Dallas, Texas, you want to be on Photo Booth Wars, we're offering $500 cash prize. Uh, you must be uh, in Dallas to, to participate and have all your stuff ready and go and be operating Photo Booth business. Um, I wouldn't recommend asking because, uh, first of all, you may not ask the right person. Only the venue owner is going to be able to tell yes or no, or really. The manager know, or something. The manager, yeah, the manager, you know, it depends on how much they care about the venue. You need to protect yourself and your guests. That's the most important thing. The venue, they open the venue. If the carpet gets messed up, that's going to happen. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's part of owning a venue. You know what I mean? I mean, that's, oh well, you know, you messed up the tile, the carpet, get that, get it replaced, you know what I mean? But somebody tripping on an extension cord is way worse having to deal with an injury or someone falling and you getting sued. Because that's, that's typically what someone who is out to get people, they would do that and they would potentially go and trip on a cord and sue you for that. I mean, you can just Google that. There's hundreds of cases that go on. You know, they come into businesses like that. So, so that's why you need your insurance too. Make sure you got your business insurance. Um, but I, I did set up one time at the Galleria, the, hill, the hotel, the Western in the Galleria here in Dallas. And the guy came and he, and he was like, I don't know. Now nah, this is the Galleria, right? It's not, I mean, this is a multi-billion dollar corporation, you know? And he's like, oh man, you take this to the floor. I'm like, Yo, we have to, you know what I mean? People are walking by. But I, I did have duct tape instead of gaffer's tape. So you want to tell me what, what tape to use? Uh, I use the, the black Gorilla tape. Oh, so that's, God, that's, yeah. probably Don't not, do that. yeah. that's probably not the smartest thing that's to do. That's the worst thing you can use. Because that everything thing, this guy does is... I don't think that's accurate, but um, I, I do have some things to improve on. And that's why we do these things. That's why we do these things because we're all learning here. We're on the photo booth game, you know? Um, so don't use Gorilla Tape. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's, it's expensive, tape. it's excessive. That's gonna mess up your floors, 100%. No wonder he's, he asked people, he, yeah. he left that out. I mean, who would be uh, not upset if you're putting you know, super glue on the floor every night? Yeah. No, but yes, I, I use, I stop, I will stop using that moving forward. This is what you need right here. Yeah. So this tape is different. Uh, you can look on Amazon. Yeah. Make sure to look at the reviews and it, it comes off easily. It tapes down easily yeah. and uh, right. you'll be able to. Don't use Gorilla Tape. Yeah. Don't be like me. All right, guys, we're gonna wrap it up. Uh, give us a thumbs up if you like this. Comment below. We'll see you next time. Bye.